welcome dear student in the next video of the this experiment this experiment which is there for question number 4 identification comparative study of rates of transpiration in upper and lower surface of leaf using four leaf experiment okay so in this video we will just learn about the answers of the question which are given in this practical book regarding this how to perform the experiment it is given in one of my video in that you can get the more clear idea in this video we will see only about the question answers now we have the four leaves are there leaf a is there where the what is the petroleum jelly is applied on both the surface leaf b is there petroleum jelly is applied only on the lower surface leaf c is there petroleum jelly applied on the upper surface and leaf d is there where the petroleum jelly is not applied according to this we get the result so here you have to fill up this table in this what result we got here leaf a there is no change where the both the side the petroleum jelly is applied that's why no stomatas are open that's why no transpiration leaf b is there which shows a dry but not a dry as leaf d so here little bit dry it is because only on the lower surface whatever the petroleum jelly is applied leaf c is a drier than leaf b leaf c is a drier than leaf b because here leaf c shows the maximum stomata is open because here on the upper surface only jelly is applied while the upper lower surface all stomata are open leaf d is the driest one so here no jelly is applied so all stomata are open because of that here the leaf d shows the driest one now on the next page here you have to write properly the label properly about this leaf this is leaf A, leaf B, leaf C and leaf D. Here you have to draw this properly, what the shape of that particular leaf. Leaf A is here, what is the, it is a fresh one, both the side petroleum jelly is applied, leaf B is here, leaf C is here and leaf D where the petroleum jelly is not applied. So this what are the effect you have to show in this diagram, okay, and label properly leaf A, B, C and D1. Here we will see about the answers. Conclusion. What conclusion is there? Maximum transpiration in leaf D. Maximum transpiration in leaf D. As all stomata open. And less transpiration in leaf B. As maximum stomata are closed. So here in the leaf B. Maximum stomata are closed. Which are present on the lower surface of the leaf. More transpiration in leaf C as compared to the leaf B. In leaf C more transpiration as compared to the leaf B as less stomata on the upper surface of the leaf. Leaf A no transpiration as all the stomata are closed. Leaf A all stomata are closed because we had applied the petroleum jelly so that's why it is a more fresh. It remains as it is most probably. Okay, So this is what, what the result we observe in this particular experiment. Next question is there, define transpiration. So what is transpiration? The loss of water in the form of vapor is called transpiration. That occurs through the leaves, stem, flowers and the fruits. So here through the leaves all stomatas are present on the leaf. On the young stem also stomatas are present. On the flower, on the calyx stomatas are present. On the some green fruits also stomatas are present. Okay, so this is about what transpiration. Only you have to write the answer like that. The loss of water in the form of vapor is called transpiration. Next, what is a stomata? Stomata are minute apertures formed on of two guard cells and accessory cells. So subsidiary cell we can say. They are located in the epidermis of young stem and leaf. Just know what it is explained. So same here it is. Enlist different types of transpiration. So there are three main three types of transpiration. One, cuticular transpiration. Next, lenticular transpiration. Third, stomatal transpiration. Okay. Cuticular transpiration, the cuticle which is a present on the surface of the leaf above the epidermis may be a thinner or maybe a thicker according to the type of the plants. Lenticular transpiration that we observe in the lenticels here about the what are the nematophores are there, which are the roots which are present in the marshy, what are the plants are there where they show the lenticels. Okay? Same way the lenticels are present on some of the fruits also. Next, stomatal transpiration. So here, mostly everywhere on the leaf, we observe the stomatas. Next, how lenticels are different from typical stomata? 
lenticels are small raised structure lenticels are small raised structures composed of loosely arranged complementary cells so here cells are loosely arranged stomata are minute aperture form of the two guard cells and the accessory cells so lenticels loosely arranged cells complementary cells are there and in the stomata here two what are the guard cells are there with the minute aperture along with the subsidiary cells so this is the difference between the stomata and the lenticels gutation what is gutation loss of water in the form of liquid loss of water in the form of liquid is called as a gutation so it occurs through the spatial structure called as a hadathod or the water stomata so hadathod we can observe which are present on the fern leaflets on the fern pinnes so water stomata which are observed on the most of the grasses so here in the morning time what we observe the small droplets which are present on the leaf of the grasses or some of the other plants that are because of what because of the stomata water stomata next we'll see about the mcq maximum loss of water in the form of water vapors takes place through what through the stomata because the hadathod what the in the form of liquid and through the out of these three maximum only in the stomata which of the following is involved in the gutation so hadathod which is involved in the gutation okay it is in the form of what liquid form rest all is there out of the stomata in the form of vapors guard cells and lenticels are there here that is what the guard cells it is part of the stomata and lenticels which are present on what on the some roots of the marshy plants so which of the following is involved in the gutation in the form of water which is released that is here the hadathod is there thick cuticle reduces loss of water through epidermal cells thick cuticle reduces loss of water through epidermal cells here what the remaining cells are there which are present inside epidermal cell which is present on the upper surface entry of water from the subsidiary cells into guard cells is affected by capillus yes the capillus what are the ions which are present which based on that it shows what are the the cells of the guard with maybe a turgid or maybe a flaccid loss of excess water in the form of liquid occur along the margin of the leaves of certain plants is known as what gutation so just now i have explained in this transpiration respiration photosynthesis is different while the gutation it is in the form of what water liquid form stomata widen when the guard cells become a turgid so once the guard cell become a turgid the stomata get open and when they flaccid that time here the stomata get closed so here that's why the answer is a turgid okay so here what the answers we have discussed regarding this the practical if you like my channel subscribe and share with your friends thank you